This is a long time requested video. How to remove the governor on a Briggs single cylinder. If the hood is correct, this is a 28 series Briggs. This is a mongrel engine that's been bounced around at my house on several different builds. The most notable would have been Bouncy, Jessie's mud mower that she drove for years. At this point, if you start this thing up, it is boiling hot. You cannot put your hand here. It is boiling hot. You cannot put your hand on the valve cover, which means there's probably about a 95% chance that it blew the head gasket. But these things are normal to do that. The other thing is, is what everybody does is they put a 19 horsepower carburetor on just like I did with this one. It gets a little bit more gas than it really honestly should. The gas eats down the side of the head gasket and it blows it out sooner. So we're going to see if our copper head gasket that we got from Send Cut Send fits this thing. Yep. You would never believe me, but that oil that is that black probably only has about 10 hours worth of runtime on it. Alright, this right here is your governor gear. And what everybody makes the mistake of doing is they go, Oh, that's the governor on every other engine. I just rip this out and I throw it off in the trash and I'm done. You can't do that on one of these brigs. Because the governor is also part of your splash lube system. So this sits like this, which is currently the bottom of the engine flipped up. So if we take this and we come over here into the bottom of the engine and we flip this around, this is where it sits, splashing oil everywhere in the engine. So this piece you have to maintain, otherwise bad things will happen. So what you do is you grab a good old jackknife or a razor blade or whatever and right here you're going to see one looks like it has the head of a nail and then the opposite for this side here. So what you have to do, preferably without taking your fingers off, is you cut that and then you cut this one. And if you have a really old gear, sometimes this just plain doesn't work. So once you cut it, you can slide the pin. And that takes the whole assembly off without having to monkey with anything. So we're going to do that again on the other side. We're going to cut that notch there. We're going to cut that notch there. We're going to flip it and push the pin. Pull that out, drop that, and check that yours has a collar that is in place. See this collar here, this is pressed on. It will not move. Some of these have a collar that's over the top of a hog ring if they're a replacement from China. This one's an original Briggs one, so therefore it's got the original part. So now, all I have to do is flip that over, set it right in there, and we're good to go. Just for the extra security measure, you can also slice the tab off of this. That way there's no way it can come across and end up into the oiler rod. We're about to put our Governor Delete Splasher back in. But I wanted to point this out. So remember this keys into that slot there. And Briggs did think ahead when it comes to this. If you take that dot and line it up with that dot, that dot there lines up in line with the center of this. So if you come over the top of that dot and drop it on, that puts you in line. And then you just drop your bottom on from here, it's got a little bit of wiggle room, and it should self-align from there. Well, moment of truth. We're going to see whether this thing fits and everything. I modeled it off of a very cheap Chinesium one, and so I think that's why it's wonky just a tad bit. But we're going to grab this. We're going to grab our torch. We're going to heat the snot out of this thing, 
And then we're going to see if we can bolt the heads on down through it. If this works, I will post up the DXF file on my Patreon page. And you can download it for free and order these from Send Cut Send. If you order two of them, it's about 20 bucks a piece instead of the 35 plus shipping that everybody else wants to charge. There we go. They all went in perfectly fine. With the exception of that one just needed a tiny bit of coaxing. So the hole must be off just slightly on that one. But all I needed to do was just wibble wobble it and it went down through. So now we're going to torque all of these down and then call it good. Even YouTubers that have done this kind of thing for years still screw up. I set them aside so that I wouldn't lose them. But then I forgot to install them. Tuning in valves, round two. Before I cover it all up, I wanted to show the modification here. So we've got a spring going from here to here. So this is now throttle. And this is now independent choke. So now you can use the choke that's already on the chassis. You can use your throttle cable right here. All set, ready to go.